Look on the screen. Look on the screen. Ooh. Y'all, look at the bangs. I just noticed that. What'd he do, Andy? World well, Born in Five? The Farmer. The Farmer Jones has done something way wrong. Look at those bangs. He got the crazy bangs. Let's check it out. Fair use. And dumping her body in a creek. 39 year old Andrew Will Hoyt was booked into jail early this morning. Police mm. arrested him on a preliminary charge of first degree murder. Fox 59's Max Lewis spoke with investigators and neighbors who are left stunned by this gruesome crime. Cops found Nikki's body early this morning in this creek, not too far from the family's home. She was initially reported missing on Friday morning when she didn't show up for work. And when wow. sheriff's deputies did a welfare check at the family home, they realized something wasn't right. Mm -hmm. The Boone County Sheriff's Office says deputies found evidence at the couple's rural home that led them to believe this missing person's case may be a homicide investigation. The sheriff asked the Indiana State Police to take over because Andrew Wilhoyt's mother is on the county council. Mm. There are some things that just didn't seem to be adding up. Indiana State Police questioned Andrew and found that he and his wife had a domestic dispute. At some point, he allegedly hit her over the head with a blunt object and she lost consciousness. They then learned that he placed her into a vehicle, took her uh, to a nearby creek where he where he dumped her body. Police oh. found her body around three o'clock this morning in a few feet of water. How can you do that to the mother of your kids? The details of what happened have stunned people in this tight-knit community. The Wilhoyt family is well known as the owners of Wilhoyt Family Farms. Facebook posts indicate Nikki was battling cancer and had her final chemo treatment just last week. She just finished chemo and stuff. She was trying to get well, and for him to do something like that to her, it's, just, well. it's not right. Cops didn't release a motive for the killing, but court records showed Nikki filed for divorce last week after more than 12 years oh. of marriage. If he's guilty, he should pay severely for what he did to his wife, the mother of his children. He does not care. He doesn't care. He probably was thinking about, oh, you ain't finna get all my family done work for my inheritance. I ain't spent nothing with you. Ain't you ain't getting shit out of me, girl. You got me messed up. And it was goodbye, Buttercup. Selfish. So angry. Ladies, uh, you file for divorce. I wouldn't be in the same home. It's time to cut and run. You know how Fox always talking about body to my cut and run? Yeah, and that ain't my favorite. But I, I listen to all kinds of different uh, news media outlets and, you know, just to cipher the information. So not a Fox fan, but I just, you know, I listen to different different ones. But I noticed they have very good at what Joe Biden, where he asked a question. And then next thing you know, one while, like when the there were questions about, you know, the, the um, pandemic and he they call it, oh, look at Joe. You know, he cut and run. When you file for divorce, might be a good time to cut and run. Too many women, uh, it seems we're on this, they're on this thing. Oh, it's not going to get that bad. Oh, he won't do this to me until he does. Dusty's man, they are too emotional. You don't know when a dust bucket, be it uh, Peter Pan, Dusty Dan, a little hood man. You don't know when they're going to hop, jump out of pocket. And just act crazy. You don't. You don't know when. And next thing you know, things start building up. These fools just go crazy. It's not worth it. Filing for divorce, man. I, I would, you don't need to be up under the same roof because everyone is different. And especially if you got a feeling, women, you get to follow your intuition. I think sometimes it's being negated. We want to block it out. Oh, I'm not one of those women. They're a victim. That's not me. Until they, you know, you get bopped on the head, hands around your neck. A bullet to your body. Seriously. Sometimes women want to think, oh, no, that's them. That's not me. Guess what? Sometimes it can be. And you don't want to find out when it's too late. And through her, I think the mother of his children, the wife, 12 years, battling chemo, now this divorce, she probably thought she was going to have a new lease on life. Survive this cancer. 
get my life back together. And sometimes I think I've heard people say that when you go through something like really major and really traumatic, it's like, guess what? You realize, uh oh, life is short. I don't want to be in this situation. And then people start wanting to make a change. And I'm starting to think that maybe that, that change was hers, realizing, man, I survived this cancer. I just don't want to live like this anymore. Filed for divorce. And now, and she didn't make it to court. Dusty Dan tossed her in a tossed her in a creek. What if an animal had came along? He wouldn't have cared. What if some animals had came along and devoured her? More than likely, in my opinion, I bet he would be hoping for it. Oh, good. Ain't no trace of her. Which, hello, Dom Dom. Uh, they're still going to look at you. They really are. Yeah. They are still going to look at you because, uh, hello, it's always more than likely the other person. Hello, you think? It's always, they're going to always look at the boyfriend, the husband, the lover. They're going to always do it. It's no surprise. So it's like, it, it, it blows my mind. But see, that lets me know the Dusties aren't thinking. All they see is, I'm mad and I'm angry, and they react. I'm mad. I'm angry. Next thing you know, anger is one letter away from danger, and that's what she faced. So, Dusty Dan. They are not in control of their emotions, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to tell you. These fools, they're highly emotional, and they are highly unpredictable. That's why. That's what I'm telling you. That's why I think these women keep getting killed. They, these fools are unpredictable. Come out of a bag at any moment. She probably thinks she's gonna get her new lease on life, and her dust bucket, dusty Dan, done put the girl to, to night night, staying too long. Filed for divorce last week. And he just comped on the head and threw her into a creek like trash. Remember the dude that killed Sister Girl, the black lady, and he put her body up under the bridge, shot her, and PTSD, and she's trying to stay with him. He's like, you still, why you want to stay with me? Girl, that's your clue. Why you want to stay with me? Still sticking around. Another example of what not to do. I'm still holding on to the dust bucket, man. I'm still holding on to the dust bucket, man. I'm still holding on to the dust bucket, man. Not knowing he had me so much taking this life out of this land. Seriously, that's what's happened. We're going to hold on until you gone. Hold on to Dust Bucket Dan. Keep holding on. M move slow. He going to take you out of this land. And that's what's going to happen. Dusties are evil, diabolical, homicidal. They bring drama and trauma. What do you tell the kids? The financial implication is too much dust in the nation. Please, please, ladies. Your senses tell you it's time to go. Don't keep holding on until you end up gone. And I'm out. R.I.P.